Welcome everyone. I am Deepan Chakravarti, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering in Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. Now, let us see about CSV file handling in Python. So, these are the contents which you are going to see. So, how to read a file, read a uh, content from the CSV file and how to write the content into the CSV file and with some examples, we are going to see it now. So, about CSV file. CSV is a separate file format used to store the table or data such as spreadsheet or database. So like uh, Microsoft Excel, OpenOffice, Calci. So this format is used to store the import and export the data with the help of a program in Python into the Excel and Calci. I mean, OpenOffice Calci. So CSV stands for comma separated values. So a comma separated values with delimited text file that uses a comma to separate values so in a normal text file if i'm going to use a comma so that is going to show the comma separated value so each line of file is a data record so it is going to uh, if the number of uh, records to be increased so the number of lines in the text file also will be more so now so how we are going to handle csv so just with the help of normal open function i'm going to open a file so and i'm going to use a file pointer with that i'm going to open a file so here i'm going to use a module called import csv module okay so like pickle module in binary so here we are going to use csv module so using that i'm going to read and write the content into the file so here for reading a csv file so first we have to import csv module so then open so open is used to open a csv file so that i'm going to use a reader object using that i'm going to read the content and i'm going to do it so now let us see an example for reading from csv file so first is about import csv so when i open a function by using with so automatically i no need to mention uh, i no need to close use a close function so without using a with function if i'm going to open a file i need to close my file only then it it will forces all the it will flushes all the data into the file but whereas here when i use with then and there it will flush the data so i no need to close the file at last so now i'm going to use this with to open a file called myfile.csv so where i'm going to read uh, here i i'm going to use a method called reader csv.reader which is going to read the file and i'm going to display the content so i have stored a file see in the in this example i have a myfile.csv where i have separated the values by a comma one comma amid comma 6000 so this is a particular record uh, which contains three columns and three rows here three rows is in the sense here i have three record so this will be displayed in the particular format just by using the method called csv.reader so csv.reader reads the csv file and displays the output in the formatted way so since we are using again a formatted output I'm going to use 10s, 20s, and 10s with a percentage symbol before, so it will be displayed in a particular way. So next is these are the steps which I have mentioned about. I just told about how to read uh, content uh, from the CSV file. So now how to create a CSV file? There are two methods to create a CSV file. Okay, let let me open a Microsoft Excel and uh, uh, here I am going to type the content as such so same three rows and three columns i'm going to type one amit 6000 two suresh kumar 8000 and three gabbar 75000 i'm going to mention it and now i'm going to save this in a particular location when i save this i have to save it with an extension called dot csv so even though this is an excel file when i store with an excel extension dot csv automatically that file will be converted as a csv file this is how i can create one csv file another method so by just by using a notepad 
with the comma separated each and every value so here if i have one more column i have to be separate that with the comma again after the 6000 and some value should be mentioned there so that i can understand this csv file contain four columns and the number of records as per my wish so same way with the help of a delimiter comma i can just mention it that is why we call this as comma separated value and when i save it with the same extension dot csv automatically i can identify that this is a csv file so this is the second method first method by using an excel sheet excel in microsoft office and second one by using notepad now let us see an example how to count the number of records everything remains same like previous uh, file handling methods which is also in binary and also in text file so here only thing we have you to use a module called import csv and the method here we are going to use it called csv.reader so this is a method which is going to read the content and pass it to a variable called my reader where that my reader is going to print all the uh, content which we which is read from the csv file in a formatted way so and it is going to display with the help of the number of record i'm going to use a counter variable so which is going to count one by one and tell that number of records into my record so here i have used count so count is equal to count plus one which is going to tell the number of records into my table and the next is about writing a data into a csv file so same way i'm going to use import csv module and open a file so here i can use either a mode called w or append w mode is for writing and append mode is for already existing file i can add the content so these are the two things i'm going to do so here instead of write method i'm going to use a method called write row so which is going to add the content so see this instead of reader here i have used the writer and with the help of write row it is going to write all the content into the csp file so that is why each and every here i am also i'm going to use a with thing so instead of um w mode i'm going to use a mode so which is going to add my content already existing into my csv file there are three rows so again if i use append mode automatically so this is the explanation which i given for the above example and now this two more records are added to the previous file the difference between I, I i think you can understand the difference so already we have a csv file with three records now i'm going to add two more records since i have used a method called uh, used an access mode called append so here i am using a method only thing for writer and other another method is called a write row to write each and every rows into my csv file so thank you everyone